24 strikeouts in his 27 innings pitched so far this season. Here's the 0-2 pitch now to Williams, and he gets another swing and a miss. So three pitches, all swings and misses for Williams. Another look over to first base, and here comes Taylor swing and a miss for strike two, and we've got a throw to second base, and I think it's in time. A delayed call, but yes, it is, so there's two outs for the Cougs. Jax Ryan, the third baseman for the Sun Devils. Here's the 2-2 in there for a strike on the outside corner, and Taylor has his second strikeout of the game. Pitch count on his number one pitcher here, Grant Taylor. 1-2 pitch, swing and a miss from Jackson, and he goes down on strikes. That is the third strikeout. Trying to work his way out of trouble again here in the third. The 1-2 pitch on the way, swing and a miss, back-to-back -back strikeouts for Grant Taylor. All right, Taylor sets again, takes a look back at second. Now comes to the plate, swing and a miss for strike three against Ondina. Now two down here. Coos looking for win number 13 on the year. Look back at second. Here's the 2-2 to Williams, swing and a miss. Taylor gets out of the inning with a strikeout again, his sixth. Here's the first pitch from Burns to Swartz, and that is lined in the left field corner. It's going to get down fair. That could score Johnstone all the way from first. He is rounding third and heading home. Here comes the relay throw to the plate. Campos can't hang on. The Cougs are on the board at 4-1, to one, and there goes Swartz sliding into third base as he alertly took the extra bag, and the Cougs finally push one across here against Burns. It's 4-1 to one in the fifth. The 0-1 to Park, and that is lined in the center field, but right at Jackson, who's underneath it. Swartz tags up, and he's heading home. And the Cougs quickly plate two here in the fifth, and we've got ourselves a ball game now here at 4-2. Here comes the 2-1 to Taggart. Swung on and lifted into left center field that's back towards the warning track and it's over the wall a two-run tying homer for Kaysen Taggart here in the fifth inning and the Cougs have tied it up here with four runs in the frame how about that that ball just kept drifting and drifting until it carried over the wall just to the right of the scoreboard in left center field. Kaysen Taggart, a two-run homer to tie this ball game. And the Coos continue to frustrate Thomas Burns. And it's the catcher, Jacob Morrow, at the plate now after the two-out single from Kramer. Next pitch swung on. Morrow lifts one in the left field, going back to the wall. And that's going to clear the wall as well. A second homer here in the fifth inning as Morrow jacks one out to left. And the Cougs have their first lead in this ball game at 6-4. to four. All six runs coming here in the frame. Two of them, or excuse me, four of them coming on two run homers off the bats of Case and Taggart, and now Jacob Morrow. Fastball change up slider. Let's see what he goes to here, trying to get strike three. Fastball outside, got him swinging. And that's a big out for the Coos because it's two down here in the frame. Hartman, the lefty, again came in batting. 366 on the year, team high 23 RBIs. Here's the 1-1 one, one put on the ground, right to the shortstop who makes the play, not gonna be in time, and a run scores. Ondina had a range to his right, and the throw one hop the first baseman Tobias, and that allowed the runner to come around and score. All right, the 1-1 one, one to Kyle Russell. Put on the ground, but right to the third baseman. He bobbles it, and there's no play. Another run scores, and the Cougs have a two-run lead. They're going to have to call that an error on Jax Ryan, even though that was a tough play. He bobbled it in front of them, and then it rolled into foul territory. Lance on the scoreboard showing no stats on the season, so perhaps one of his first appearances. Big swing and a miss for strike three. 
Moro throws over to first just to make sure, but a big strikeout, exactly what Grillo was hoping for there. ASU trying to rally from behind in the ninth to take this series opener. Here comes the 2-2 from Grillo. Swing and a miss. Moro will fire to first to make sure, but the Cougs have the victory here on the Friday night series opener. Eight to seven over the Sun Devils of Arizona State. Chase Grillo makes it interesting in the ninth, but pulls it out for his 11th career save.